a stone cold callous murderer. I hope it's painful and I hope he burn in hell. We are just one day away from the execution of serial killer Bobby Joe Long and loved ones of those he murdered are preparing for the journey to see this all take place. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow has been in touch with these loved ones of the victims over the last few weeks. And Emerald, tough for anyone to imagine how these people must feel as they prepare for tomorrow. Katie, there is no other way to say this. This is a very tough time. Now, I've talked to the families of two victims today, and they all hope seeing this man die will give them the closure they've been seeking for nearly 35 years. Now, there's a lot of anxiety, and all of those emotions that have been buried for all of this time are resurfacing. I'm just waiting for that time, and I want to see the look on his face. I want to see the pain coming on his face, what he inflicted to my daughter and those other women. He didn't have any right to do that. This is Lula Williams and her daughter Chanel was one of at least 10 women Bobby Joe Long brutally murdered back in 1984. Lula and her other daughter sat down with me when they first found out about the execution and today they're taking the time to mentally prepare themselves to see Long take his last breath. This is a moment they say they've been waiting for for more than 30 years. I don't have any pity for him, no nothing, nothing. He's getting what he deserved. The killer. Mm. Do you all forgive him? Maybe, maybe one day, but honestly, I, I can't lie. No, no, I don't. I feel for all these years, mm -hmm. I have been taking care of the person that took my sister away. Mm -hmm. I have been providing medical, food, and shelter for him. And it's, it's just not, it's not right. Now, all that care will come to an end tomorrow just after 6 o'clock. That is when the state will execute Long via lethal injection. And we will have team coverage of tomorrow's execution right here on 10 News. And we will hear from more of his victims' loved ones right here at 6 o'clock.